Welcome to La Hinch Golf Club. My name is Donald McSweeney. I'm the pro here at La Hinch. We're standing here in the first tee in La Hinch on a nice sunny day. And this is our uh, opening tee shot for the Irish Open. It's uh, par four, 381 yards. And uh, we're going to try and hit the ball up the left half of the fairway and just let it drift down, giving you a nice approach to the green. So we'll have a go at that. Perfect, just the left half of the fairway. So the last place you want to come up here on the front of the first green is if your ball lands short of the green, it'll come back into this fairway bunker. This fairway bunker, or this greenside bunker, should I say, is the last place you want to be because it's a very, very difficult bunker shot. The difficulty here is getting the yardage correct. And the difficulty is, is getting it up and onto the green and staying there. Not the place you want to be on the first hole of the Irish Open. So we're standing in the middle of the second fairway, par five for members, par four for the Irish Open. It's going to be a play a long par four, tee shot down the right half of the fairway, avoiding the bunkers, leaving us a long second shot into the hole of 180 yards, 190, and six bunkers short, so you can't come up short. So we'll have a go at it. in the middle of the green. Yeah, it's good. So we're standing here in the third tee, 418 yard par four. Tee shot is a little bit blind, so we're gonna hit it up over the path with a little right to left. Fairway runs out at 290 yards, so we just hit three wood for position off the tee. The right hand side, a little draw off the pat. That's perfect. So we're standing here in the middle of the third fairway, tee shot in the middle of the fairway. We've, we've got 170 to the green. We've got to fly this all the way. You can't afford to be short on this. It's our first hole that we get a view of the Atlantic Ocean on our left hand side. So we go ahead and Play the shot in. Oh. A bit left on that one. This is our Klondike, famous hole, original Al Alistair McKenzie hole. So the fairway here is very narrow. It's a par five for members, par four for the Irish Open. Tee shot up the right hand side and just let it gather back into the fairway. So up the right hand side and just gathering off that mound on the right into the fairway. Perfect. So our tee shot here has landed in the middle of the fairway. It has come off the side hill, which is the way to play the hole on the fifth. We now have a really, really narrow fairway. It's only about 10 meters wide. And our second shot is blind. And we're gonna hit over the white stone, which is the target line to the green. So we've a medium iron into this green and we've out of bounds at the back. So the whole idea here is just to make sure we don't overshoot the runway. So we're gonna hit just over the middle of the stone will give us to the centre of the green. You just got to trust your yardage. It's pretty good. Might be just a little left, but pretty good. So our second shot has come over the mound and onto the green and has rolled nicely up into less than a foot. So we have a little tap-in putt for an eagle for members or a birdie if it's for the Irish Open. So this will be played as a par four for the Irish Open. Very easy, three wood, eight iron and a tap-in for birdie. So here we are in our signature hole. It's our fifth hole. It's 154 
yards and uh, it's part three, first part three we come to and it's actually a blind part three. So we place a stone on top of the hill to direct you to where the pin is left to right and you just got to trust your yardage. Your club selection here is massive because dune at the front and we have a dune at the back and the green sits in a nice little swale. So today at 154 yards into a little breeze we've got a little six iron. That's perfect in the middle of it. So it's all down to the distance now, whether that's on the green or not. So here we are in the, the Dell Green, so you can see it quite narrow here. Mound at the front, mound at the back, so golf balls tend to feed off both mounds as well. So distance control is paramount, so you can see there is a nice shot into the green. So the green is very narrow, so it's all about distance control. So we're back up the hill here. Green tends to slope quite quickly down, but when we're back up the hill, gives us a good opportunity for birdie. Stayed right. It's a nice, simple tap in for par. So here we are, we've hit our tee shot off uh, hole number six, slight dog leg round the corner, put it in prime position off the tee, middle of the fairway, we've got 160 left, doesn't really matter because look at the view I have in the background, so this shot is all about the scenery more so than the result. So let's go and hit a nice shot in with that scenery in the background. So we're into the breeze as well, breeze is starting to get up today. Okay, just at the back edge of the green, don't want to come up short here because it'll just kick right into those front two bunkers on the right hand side. So here we are, the seventh hole, we're on the back championship tee. Uh, tee shot is just straight over the pathway at the top of the hill but the prevailing wind is generally off the left hand side so we have to allow for the wind we're really exposed at this part of the golf course so it's very important we don't lose this tee shot to the right so tee shot here out over the top of the pathway little draw just hold it into the breeze the breeze is starting to get up on the left hand side That is a fraction left, but should be fine where it is. So here we are in number seven. So second shot here, pin is back right today. Keep the ball a little bit right, don't come up short, and that will give you a good opportunity of a birdie. But while we're here, you have to take into consideration the scenery you have here, out across the bay, out across the Liskenner, and the Atlantic Ocean, very peaceful today. So we're here on the AT part three, second part three, it's 147 yards. Breeze is coming off the left hand side. So we're just gonna try and hit a nice high soft landing. Can't afford, can't afford to be short on this shot. Everything will fall off the front edge of the green into a bunker. So golf aside, what we're looking at here is you can see the lovely view at the Atlantic Ocean and Liscanner Bay. We've Liscanner over here in front of us. And as you move around, we've Mutton Island at the far corner out here. And then we work in the bay into Moy and back into uh, Le Hinch. So on a perfect day like today, it's quite impressive. So we're standing here on the ninth tee. So we're at the highest point of the golf course. So as you can see below me, the golf course is all below me. So we've got 11, 12, 13, 14. Great vantage point up high here for the Irish Open. So you'll get a good viewing of everything that's happening in the surrounding area.
Okay, so tee shot on number nine, straight down the middle. Fairway will bring it down to the left-hand side, giving me a better angle into the green. So we're here in the ninth green. Second shot is literally 100 yards long, roughly. The trick in this is to get the right distance. The front to back of the green is 56 yards long, and the ball will roll very much from right to left. So you need to be on the left half of the fairway coming in and get your distance control correct on this long green.